Alrighty, so I figured out how to put the webcam on a thingy and it's super simple and it's 100% free. No Photoshop needed, all that good stuff. And guess what? Look, all done for free. I did this for you. Yo, what is going on? This is your boy. You already know it's in the popular around here. <laughs> but today, I'll be teaching you how to make it look like ninja, myth, Whoever this person is, whoever this person is, irrelevant. And whoever this person is, I'll be teaching you how to look exactly like that, right? But anyways, uh, before I get started, I actually want to give out a shout out to this guy right here because this guy right here gave me the idea to make this video. If you will be responsible for the next video, I'll give you a shout out like this guy right here. And yeah, make sure you leave it down in the comments and I'll actually pick one if I like it. But leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll go ahead and off. Make the video for guys, so just follow me. Alright, so it seems like you made it to your beautiful Mac, alright? If you're using the PC, it will still work. If you're using the Wii U, it will still work. If you're using the 3DS, it will still work. Okay, so you want to visit down in the description down below. I'm going to leave a link that takes you to Pixlr. And then, yeah, you want to scroll down. And then you just see Launch Web App. Not abs, but app, all right? So you're going to click that right there. And then you want to create a new image. And then you just see Width and Height. Everyone has a different one, but I'm pretty sure everyone has the same one. So that makes a lot of sense. I know. Go to OBS, and then you want to give your camera a nice wiggle. And did you see something highlighted right here? Click that highlighted thing, and then you want to make sure you copy that number 320, 240, onto the thing so 320 240 320 240 simple as that and you want to click ok all right so once you've done that you should see a black i mean a white box you want to make that into a black box okay so once you've done that uh make sure you click the paint bucket and click in there that's why i'm making black but you want to click file and you want to click save and then you can name it whatever you want it's gonna leave it untitled because why not leave that alone and click ok and then you want to click all safe you want to click close and you want to click and no. create a new image and then you just see width and height again um just make it like 500 is a good size that 500 is a good size so make sure you do that and make sure you have it on transparent or this one not work right so i made myself clear make sure that's checked click ok once again and you should see this polka dot design all right so click layer open image as layer and then you should see the untitled box we just made but you want to do that right there double click and you should see a black box but to make it to what color whatever you want i just go to drawing tool right there make sure it's on rectangle it should be the default and then to change the color click this little box and you should see the color panels which is a uh, pretty goddamn nice all right so you want to make sure this is all the way to the right or whatever shade you like but the brightest is the right all right but i'm gonna make myself purple because i love purple you want to go ahead and just click on this top left box right here corner thing i mean and then you want to drag all the way to this bottom corner here and it's let go and now it's purple to make that little hole and here so you can see through it you can put your, your beautiful face cam on there so you can show everyone how cool you are right so to do that click this right here and then if you want to make your border lines like this nice and thick i do not recommend it it does not look slim i like my stuff slim all right so i like a kind of slim like this all right so okay so once you dragged and dropped your whatever preference you want you just want to simply hit the delete button or the backspace so there you go. And here's where you can put your face camera, right? So, oh uh, yeah. So, to do your logo, you don't have to do it, but I'm just doing it for the purpose of the video. So, go to layer, open image as layer, and then you want to get your logo, all right? So, this is my logo right here for my second channel. Go subscribe to it down in the description. As you can see here, it's way too big. To shrink it down, click edit, and then free transform. And now you can shrink it by clicking this little box right there. Just go down, basically. As you can see here, that's like this little white things right here. To get rid of that, click out at the box click yes and then you want to make sure that it's still in the wand tool click this right here and just hit the backspace or delete button and there you go and that should be gone if it's there more uh white spaces make sure you click on that and hit the backspace you want to make sure you go back to one again left click and then select all and now you can go ahead and just go edit again free transform and now and you can shrink it nice and it can look nice and clean put that or whatever you want here here in the corner bottom here but i like it at the top so it can look nice and cool so once you have it where you want it just click out the box and click yes click file save name it whatever you want but okay okay, okay. do not leave the video pause the video do not fast forward the video this is the most important step click format transparent 
then okay. But to add it on to your stream, you simply want to open up OBS. You want to add this little plus button right there. Go to image and then you will click okay. You can name it whatever you want. But you want to click browse and then you want to look for the thing we just made, which is right there. So you want to go ahead and just double click and then bam, there you go. There's your thing. Just click okay and then there you go. See, it's nice and slim. But as you can see here, we have a little problem. I know it's way too small. You want to uh, get your webcam and shrink it, which is pretty simple by clicking this little circle so you can shrink it up and down. Uh, there you go. Make sure it fits nice and perfect and bam but anyways i'm gonna go ahead and just film the outro right there so i see you there all right oh, all right guys it seems like i taught you how to put the overlay on your webcam so you're welcome i deserve my like and my subscribe button and also hit the notification bell subscribe to my second channel but yeah that's about it but anyways see you guys next time Bye-bye.